NCX Anthony has painted a lot of things while modding computers. Cases, motherboards, video cards, and even fans. But one unwritten rule is never touch the heatsink. After all, trying to modify it will just decrease cooling performance and make it worse, right? Well, he's here to find out the truth. For science! Let's start with some simple physics. A heatsink is designed to transfer heat away from your processor. Good quality heatsinks will use the heat pipes to pull the hot energy from your chip to the upper fins, which dissipates the heat. Most heatsinks you see are bare aluminum or copper, which gives you the most conductive surface. But processors and heatsinks are both very efficient, leaving a lot of room to play around with. Obviously, painting over aluminum fins and heatsinks will impact cooling, but I have a theory that it won't actually change by all that much. I'd bet the difference isn't more than 5 degrees Celsius. The first step is picking the paint. Now I can't just use regular spray paint since they generally have a safe operating temperature up to around 50 degrees Celsius. CPUs can reach up to 80 degrees, so I figured it's best we're not inhaling half-melted toxic fumes. That was a good idea. Now after a bit of research, we went with automotive grade high temperature paint and good old favorite Plasti Dip. Our high temperature paint goes up to 1093 degrees Celsius, so you'll need to worry about summoning demons from the second level of hell before worrying about the paint. Plastic dip, on the other hand, is good to up around 150 degrees Celsius and comes in much cooler colors than high temperature paint does. Jack loves purple, so we went with purple. This was just a coincidence. I didn't plan this. For the heatsink, we went with the Rigentech Tysis Dual Tower CPU Cooler. Why the Tysis? Well, it's got five heat pipes, it's entirely coated in nickel, and we happen to have two sitting around. We replaced the stock fans with two Noctua Industrial F12s since they offer better static pressure and just plain look better. We've said it many times before, but we'll say it again. The key to a good paint job is patience. You'll want to spray on lots of thin coats, even if it doesn't look like you're making any progress. This ensures you'll get the smoothest, most even coating with the least chance of overspray. Painting slowly is a lot better than having to sand the surface after. For our test, we used an Intel i7-5820K processor, MSI X99S M-Power motherboard, 32 gigabytes of Corsair DDR4 memory, and the new NVIDIA Titan X, which you can watch our review of by clicking there. On our test bench, we hit a base temperature of 22 degrees Celsius idle and 44 degrees under full load with the stock unpainted heatsink. After painting, our idle doesn't change much. However, under load is a different story. The stock cooler hit a maximum temperature of 44 degrees, while both painted coolers hit a maximum of 53 degrees. With a difference of 9 degrees, it means Anthony was sort of close with his guess. It's not the worst thing in the world, but if you plan on doing this mod yourself, make sure your heatsink is up to the task and that you have good airflow in your case. Since we're using an MSI motherboard, there's still plenty of overhead for OC Genie to automatically overclock your system. Which reminds me, big shout out to MSI for lending us this motherboard. In the end, it really depends on what your needs are. If you're after the best overclock and lowest temperatures, then obviously don't paint your heatsink. However, if you like modding and want to add that special touch to your system, then painting the heatsink is a pretty good option. We're tired of seeing boring old silver heatsinks, so hopefully this inspires some people out there to get more creative with their color schemes. If you're after the best possible performance and want a sleek black heatsink, well, Let's go with something from Be Quiet. And if you're curious about any of the products used in today's video, links will be provided in the description. Thanks for watching this video. Leave a like and comment down below whether you'd paint your heatsink if you wanted to mod your computer. We'll be doing the same test but with a radiator, so be sure to subscribe so you won't miss it.